Relations between Pakistan and the U.S. are facing new strains. The U.S. is leaving an airbase in Pakistan used to launch drone attacks against Taliban and al-Qaeda insurgents. Sunday, President Obama called Pakistan's president. White House officials say he offered his condolences for the deaths of 24 soldiers killed in an airstrike. And there is no sign that Mr. Obama apologized. Joining us now is national security analyst Juan Zarate of CBS News. Juan, good morning to you. Good morning. So... Offering condolences but not an apology, what do you think of that handling of this situation by the president? Well, I think it was important for the president not to get in front of the facts, in part because the, the facts aren't yet clear as to what was happening. There was clearly a firefight that led to the ultimate deaths of these 24 Pakistani soldiers. At the same time, you have to manage a relationship. This is an ally, and so you have to offer condolences for the death of these soldiers. And it's something that has aggravated a relationship that is already struggling uh, between the United States and Pakistan. Do you think an outright apology would have changed anything here, though? Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, the Pakistanis' uh, sensitivities on this are very raw. And you have to remember uh, that the Pakistanis view this as the latest string of an assault on their sovereignty. The Osama bin Laden raid, the comments from former Chairman Mullen uh, that they are in bed with the Haqqani network, uh, and a series of other actions, including counterterrorism activities in, in their own country. Uh, where they are very sensitive to uh, U.S. activities. And so an apology itself is not going to repair the relationship. Uh, this is going to take some time. In response to this, Pakistan has cut off NATO supply routes, forced the CIA out of an important air base, and also pulled out of this conference uh, on the future of Afghanistan. How significant are those three items in terms of our relationship and the security threat in the future out of that region? Well, that's important materially, in part because we need the supply routes open, we need our air bases, and we certainly need the Pakistanis as part of a future stable Afghanistan region. What's also interesting is the fact that those three actions underscore why we need Pakistan for our ongoing efforts as well as the future of Afghanistan. Uh, without Pakistan as part of the mix, uh, you can't imagine a stable uh, region. Iran is now claiming responsibility for a downed U.S. drone. They say they have it in their possession. We have yet to see any pictures uh, from them. How significant, if this is true, that Iran has possession, how significant of a security threat is that for the United States? Well, first of all, I think it's doubtful that they actually shot this down. But if they do have it in their possession, may have collected it from the ground, uh, I, I think there are serious concerns about reverse engineering of the technology uh, in the drone itself. Uh, there are also concerns about this being part of an ongoing battle within Iran uh, to confront the West. And so we'll just have to see how this plays out. Uh, but I think the Iranians thrive on confrontation, uh, mm -hmm. and they are under a great deal of economic and diplomatic pressure. So uh, this is part of an ongoing drama between the United States and Iran. CBS's News is Juan Zarate. Thanks, Juan. We appreciate it. Thank you.